Welcome back to my channel. So today I have the January No Spend Year review. So this is actually my second time filming this video. I had it filmed once already and I tried to upload it and it wouldn't upload. And then upon reflection I was like, hmm, maybe it was a good thing it didn't upload. Um, when I looked at it I wasn't really happy with it and I think I forgot things and there was no structure. So I thought, you know what, I'm just going to film it again, we're going to do it again. So if you want to um, find out all the things I spent or didn't spend on my wins and fails for this month, uh, then just keep watching the video. So this video is going to be a bit of a longer video, I feel, um, even though it hasn't started yet. I do have notes here of all the things I want to talk to you about. So what I think I'm going to do for February is maybe do it every second week or um, every week depending on how much I have to say because otherwise I think at the end of the month they're just gonna be like all really long videos and yeah I think it might be better and easier to do them in smaller quicker intervals we'll say but anyway I have a bit of structure to this one today so we can just go through it first I'm going to go with my money wins actually no first I'm going to tell you how it went I think it went really well um, I budgeted every single cent that came in and I was really strict with the budget. Um, I'm on a really small um, income at the moment um, because of the current situation um, I lost my job and where I worked actually closed down uh, so it will not be opening again at all and um, all at the moment we are in level five so everything is closed. So I am receiving money from the government for this and it means I'm receiving 1,000 euro a month in a four week month, which is very, very, very small. It's the smallest I think I have had to live on since I can remember maybe. But you know what? It's the perfect time to do a no spend. It's the perfect time to get my life on track and um, start my debt free journey. I mean, I think I start, I have started a while ago, but as in really kick started now. Um, so yeah, just so you know, I'm working with a really small income here, um, but I am doing my very best. And yeah, so my money wins this month. Um, I actually cancelled my Amazon Prime um, in my previous video with the rules and reasons. I'll leave a card up here and a link below. Um, actually, everything I'm talking about, I'll probably I'll link it all below wherever I can. Um, so, uh, yeah, I cancelled Amazon Prime because I wasn't using it. I got it for Christmas, um, but Joe already has Amazon Prime. I'm pointing there because you can see him. He's downstairs. Um Anyway, Joe has Amazon Prime, so we use Amazon Prime for um, TV quite a lot. Um, so if he didn't have Amazon Prime, then it probably would have been much more difficult to get rid of it. But we did need two of them, so I got rid of mine. And Amazon actually returned me my money. Uh, so it must have been either I was just about to pay it or I just paid it. I'm actually not even sure. Um, but they actually returned my money, so I count that as a win. And then I had a couple of customers from Woolly Pigs this month. So for any of you that don't know, I have an Etsy store which I sell handmade knitted items, uh, all personally done by me. So again, leave a link below, you can check that out there. And yeah, I had a few customers, so I'm really, 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 really happy about that. And the last one is probably the best one. I think it's going to be one of the best ones of the year, to be honest. And it is, I paid my last payment to my big loan. So I've had a loan for about seven years at least anyway. And it's been almost 6,000 euro. So I took it out for college. Um, well, that's what we're going to call it anyway. That's why, you know, I was like, oh, I need this for college. But really it was a little bit for college and a lot for college lifestyle. So a lot for, um, you know socializing and looking nice with cute clothes and getting my lashes done and my nails and things like that so you know uh we're going to put it under the umbrella of college but let's be real not all of it got spent on college uh fees and things like that and then i made the stupid decision to top it up because i needed more money um for a car that i never even really used uh 
I at the time didn't even really know how to drive or I was learning how to drive and I decided it'd be a great idea to buy my sister's car that never used it because it I couldn't really drive by myself and then I don't know I never really used it so it was a huge terrible investment and then on top of that I took out extra money you know for other stuff so the loan ended up being over six thousand nearly six thousand euros five thousand uh six hundred and thirty six euro and eighty four cent <laughs> and I made my last payment this month and that was so good to get rid of that so so good um so that's gonna be probably one of the biggest things I am not debt free I still have lots of other debts but that was a big one and I got rid of it I'm delighted with that so money fails um I paid for a picture by accident on Canva. I use Canva for my blog. I did use a paid version for a long time. Then, of course, with money cuts and um, uh, no spend and debt free and all that, I decided to get rid of it for a while. 100% uh, recommend it. So if you can afford it, go for it. Um, I will be getting it back. But right now, it's just not in the budget. So I picked a picture and accidentally, I guess it was a paid one. Didn't really re realize until I looked at my account and it was minus one euro so I paid for the picture. Um, I used the picture so it didn't go to waste but to be honest um, if I'd known that I'd had to pay for it I wouldn't have paid for it so that I count that as a fail but it's only a euro. The next fail um, is toothpaste so uh, I was packing to go home at Christmas time. I suppose this would have been December actually so so I was back by January but we'll count it anyway so I left it <laughs> I was packing it but accidentally I put it next to the radiator forgot it and left it there and because it was all hot and everything I came back and I, I was like I don't really fancy using that just because I don't know if the heat affects it in any way you know or makes it just yucky um so I bought a new toothpaste <laughs> um, and I only use Sensodyne because it's the one best one for my teeth they're sensitive and stuff um so yeah I had to buy a new one and there was a lot in it however it's not a total fail because as you'll find out later I'm going to use it for something else so it's fine now I did um keep my budget extremely tight this year or this month and didn't really buy anything but I did buy a couple of what we would call unnecessary items but I feel like they were all necessary to me so that's fine um so i'll just go through them now so the first one i'm going to get rid of is the one that's completely unnecessary um by anybody's standards i would say um but i can say no so i um have a little cat called lola if any of you know um if you follow me on instagram again link below um you will have seen her um many 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 times and sometimes i think in the video you can hear her in the background so I have a split little cat and uh, for Christmas I promised her that I would get her a TP because when I w if you're watching TV or if you're in bed or anything you put your knees up she likes to sleep under them under the blanket like a little TP so I said that for Christmas that Santa would bring her a TP but everyone I found was really expensive um uh, so I don't really feel like any of them were the ones I wanted to pick up and I left it and then after Christmas I went into Aldi and they had this for six euro uh, 77 I believe and it's a cute little teepee and she can go in there and it's really soft and there you go so yeah I know that it was unnecessary but it was a Christmas present and uh, pets are not counted in no spend unless they're completely unnecessary which I guess that was but she won't be getting any more presents now until maybe her birthday we'll see uh right so next thing is a gym bag again I was looking for a gym bag for a long time this isn't something that I was like oh that's nice um well I did but I already knew that I wanted it I'd actually been looking for a good while I would say a few months because although I'm not going anywhere now obviously as soon as um the situation clears up um i will be on the road again and hopefully i will be visiting friends family and doing all that but i don't have anything to put any 
thing in um and i also want to start the gym again and again i have, I have no bag of this size at all no overnight bag i did try to buy one before christmas i went into pennies and i was looking at the overnight bags they were very pretty but they were 18 euro and i just didn't think they were worth that in my opinion um just for me i just didn't want to spend that on it uh so i waited for a while and then i found this in aldi on the same day and it's just a cute little overnight bag the only bags i have are either like um i just use reusable bags or i have a big massive one and unless you're going somewhere for a week you really don't need that so anyway got this and i paid nine euro 97 i think it was about 10 euro for that um don't regret it i know i'm going to get a lot of use out of it it's exactly what i was looking for and i was looking for it for a long time so that's i'm not mad about that the next thing i got is a photo frame so my grandmother passed away um four years ago and her anniversary was actually a few days ago and i was looking for something that i could put that and i have um other memorabilia that I want to kind of add to this um and my mom found me this kind of frame insert which is um in loving memory and all that and I put in her cards in there and then with her poem and everything um but I needed a frame for it and I found this one in Mr Price and it was two euro 79 I think and I don't regret it at all <laughs> I don't regret it um yeah, so now I have a little frame, uh, which I keep here, and she is with me when I'm doing things, you know. She always minds me. Anyway, like I said, it was her anniversary a few days ago, and unfortunately, again, due to current climate and restrictions and all that, um, I was unable to go home, I was unable to go to the grave, I was unable to do anything like that. So my mum said to pick up a nice candle and I could put it in front of the photo and I could light it for the day. And that's exactly what I did. I picked up this little tea light holder instead of a candle. I was going to go with a candle, but then I thought with tea light holder, you can just reuse it all the time. And I've actually used this uh, twice now. Instead, I did get it for the day, but I was using it after that as well. And it says, love is all you need. I'm not sure if you can read that. Probably just about. Um, and it's lovely and pink inside. And then I got this little mirror as well um, thing to go top so I put that in front of her picture and then I lit it on the day that she passed away so uh, again don't regret it it's necessary in my opinion and um, I paid I think it was like three euro in total for the candle and the mirror so or no it was three euro for the, the candle and the mirror I think was like 150 or something so anyway that's that on to th things I have done to save money this month so meal planning, I start meal planning um, every day and uh, it doesn't really save us massive amounts of money at the moment because we are living with Joe's uh, family at the moment. So because the food is kind of combined and because they actually have kind of a small holding here, so they have chickens for eggs and um, grow their own veg and stuff like that. So, whew, she's like, I need her. So because it's kind of combined and things like that, it doesn't save us a massive amount of money in meal planning. However, I believe every bit helps and it, you know, helps that there's no waste and stuff. And I just do it for me during the day. So I don't include dinners because we do dinners together. So I include just breakfast, lunch and snacks for myself. And I think it's good training for the future. And I've been learning a lot watching other people meal planning and things like that. I feel like I have no breath. I feel like... I feel like I've been running or something like I feel like I'm just speed talking because um I feel like I have a lot to get through okay second thing freezing fruit so we had a lot of fruit I bought a lot of fruit and things like that and bread as well actually and I knew it was going to go off so what I did is I cut up all the fruit portioned it out put it in little portion bags put them all together and then put them in the freezer so that if we want to use them for cereals or smoothies or anything like that you just take out the portion and pop it in and use it um so that's another thing i've done to save money refillable shower gel uh don't have this with me it's actually in the bathroom but 
Um, so I have, if you've been following my blog for a while, then you'll know I was using soap for a long time. And that's actually probably the cheapest way to go. You can get four bars of soap for like a euro and they last you for like a month each. So about four months. But when you're living with um, other people, then it's easier to have shower gel, I think, um, just with the bathroom situation and things like that. So I picked up a like 500ml ball of shower gel and that lasted me about a month and a half, I think. Um, also top tip, if you want to save money, get a loofah because I didn't have one before and you actually waste so much shower gel if you don't have one of those like plastic, well, it doesn't have to be plastic. Um, I think, what, what are they doing? They do sustainable materials. Sizzle? I can't remember. But they do sustainable material now. So you can get, uh, if you want, um, I just got the cheap one. I got a pack of three. They were plastic. And to be honest, it's um, kind of falling apart on me now. But I refuse to get rid of it because I'm not spending money on it. And it still works perfectly. Um, but yeah, anyway, shower gel lasted me about a month and a half. And I was thinking about it and I was like, how can I make this cheaper? And inside in um, Lidl, they have the refillable packs of hand soap and they're about, I think they're one litre. They're, yeah, a thousand milliliters, so one litre and you just refill them. And I, I was like, well, how different is hand soap to shower gel? So I googled it, did my research and turns out pretty much nothing. So that's what I'm using and that's going to last me two months and it's one year or 19 for the whole thing. And... Yeah, I shower every day and it's going to last me at least two months for that, for one year or 90. I just refill the 500ml bottle that I had. So that's another thing I'm doing at the moment. Um, the Ziploc bag gloves. Okay, this one's going to sound really weird and really funny. Um, but yesterday, or the day before yesterday, I decided I, need to, I want to clean up my car. And I wanted gloves because I wanted to disinfect and antibacterial and all that kind of stuff. So... I asked Jo's mother if she had a spare pair of gloves because I didn't have any and she said no. So <laughs> I was going to go to the shop but the gloves shop we have is a convenience store. Um, So it's like two euro for a pack of gloves and I was like do I really want to spend the petrol to go down there? Do I really want to spend two euro on gloves and come back again? And take, it would take a while as well and I didn't have the time or the effort for it. And I was like will I just leave it? Well, like, will I wait until we go to Aldi at the weekend? I can pick them up there for like 40 cent and then I can clean out my car. And then I had a thought. I had Ziploc bags. So what I did was I got two Ziploc bags, put them over my hands. Uh, they were the large ones as well. So plenty of room. Were they the large? Yeah, I used the large the or the medium ones. So there were plenty of room. They were bigger than the regular size ones. And then I got two hair bubbles or hair ties, whatever you call them. And I put them on my use those gloves and it worked perfectly <laughs> it cost me nothing i didn't have to go anywhere and yeah worked so it just proves you can be creative if you want to be creative you don't have to spend the money um next thing i did is i got on to all about dave ramsey so um i'm not sure if all of you know or all of you probably won't know um but dave ramsey he's kind of a financial guru in america a book and he runs financial peace university and um, you can check out daveramsey.com for more and he is all about financial um well-being and becoming debt free and all that his stuff made millionaire twice and he is the creator of the seven baby steps which you might have heard which is um first three are um save a thousand year emergency fund pay off all your debt with the death snowball method and then save a three to six month emergency fund so I've been reading his book. I had it on Audible. It was one of the books that I had um for a while but I just didn't um use it uh, or listen to it yet so I have that in Audible so when I'm driving I put that on in the car then I've been watching Budget Girl again from the beginning so she's probably gonna be like who is this person watching all my videos from the beginning but it's me um I'm go I have actually been watching her since the beginning pretty much but I wanted a refresh of the stuff that she did when she was getting out of debt so I'm going back watching those I found more budget um and financial youtubers as well um i printed out you can get these on 
what is it? Debtfreecharts.com and they're really cute. So there's emergency fund and that's how much I've saved so far. And then, okay, <laughs> one second. <laughs> Going everywhere. Uh, then I have a debt free land. Um, I actually can't start this yet because I have sent away this month for my credit report. Um, if you're in Ireland, um, I'll leave a link below to where I did it. And you can find out where you owe money to anyone in Ireland. And that's what I'm going to do in case I've forgotten anybody. Uh, from I was an irresponsible college student we'll put it that way i was an irresponsible person but that's all changing so um in case i've forgotten someone i've done a whole credit report and when i do that i'm going to calculate up everything divide it and officially kickstart this part of my death free journey but i'm so glad i have the big one out of the way <laughs> um then i have a credit card which i have to pay off that's my next one um there of 700 euro on a credit card to pay off which i am starting to pay off this month hopefully i can knock that out soon um considering 700 euro is most of what i get a month at the moment we'll do it as quick as we possibly can and then the next one is a family loan uh where years ago a couple of years ago um joe and i when we moved back to um Cork originally we're not there anymore but when we moved back um we had about a six week gap and between you know when we left on payday and we we did have a little bit of savings we didn't go there with nothing but we thought things would turn out differently and we didn't realize we'd be getting jobs where we'd be paid by the month and then we'd have to work like a month in hand as well or two weeks in hand or whatever we thought we would get weekly paying jobs like we always did and things just didn't work out the way we thought they were going to work out. So thankfully, or gratefully, my my parents lo loaned us some money. Um, so I'm paying that back too. Um, I have paid back some of it already. But um, yeah, we got a little bit left to pay back. So I'm doing that as well. So those are my like kind of debts that I'm... Or, savings things that I'm sorting out. The next thing um, I got onto was sinking funds. If you don't know about sinking funds, then there's loads of different kind of uh, videos that explain it. But basically it's um, you, for for example, Christmas is probably the easiest one. Christmas comes around the same time every year. So instead of like waiting till the last minute, what you do is you get like an envelope or you can get an account or wherever you want to put it and every week you put something into the envelope and then at christmas time you just take it out and you have it so um i've got a few set up here that i will be starting one is christmas one is my credit card payment because um i can't pay it directly i have to either go into the bank or i have to ring up a company to pay it so i'm going to save it every week and then at the end of the month i'm going to pay off as much as i can car and ct car insurance and car tax and pet fund for little lola i'm going to put in tenner a month and that way if anything comes up there's some money there for it already but she is already neutered and she has the main stuff so it's just probably tenner for vaccines or or antibiotics so she gets sick or something like that so God, the, uh, i've been using my notes app on my phone loads to keep track of everything that i'm doing um i've been doing everyday tracking i'm a notebook so every single day i write down everything i spend money on and i write down where it all the money in and out and i do that every day to keep me motivated and to keep me on track that dave ramsey book as well i got my brother onto it i rang him i was like or i texted him i was like you got audible you need to get this book so he's getting it too so it's gonna get on the track as well been very strict budgeting i'm trying to go quickly as i can uh i went in sorted out all my banking and i opened up a, a credit union savings account and that is going to be where my car fund is going to go in so after my emergency fund i then have to focus on my moving fund because we're we have to move out of joe's parents house and then i'm going to focus on a car fund because my little car is going to need um updating i'm hoping to get another year and a half out of it because there's nine months left in the nct i'm hoping to get another year after that but we'll see nobody knows what's going to happen so i'm going to start saving for a car there as well 
Um, I put shopping bags in the car so that I never have to spend money on shopping bags again. 14 to be exact. So I don't think I ever need to get another reusable shopping bag. And when it comes to cars, I am actually just being more prepared. So I've been looking up like emergency kits. I realized I have nothing in my car. Nothing. If I break down, I'm screwed. But the reason as well is because I haven't really been going anywhere that's more than like five kilometers for about a year now. But um, because of college and different things, as soon as we are able to, I will be doing a good bit of traveling. And I realized that I need to prepare my car for that. I need, I don't even have like jump leads or jumper cables, whatever you call it, wherever you are, what you call them. Um, I don't have even a blanket. I don't have a torch. I don't have random small stuff, not to mind the big emergency stuff. So um, I do have like a jack and a spare wheel and that's because it comes with the car. So you can expect a video on that pretty much so pretty soon because like I said, um, I'm not going to not be safe in my car. So I'm going to actually create one and for Joe because he doesn't have one either. He has a pickup and he has nothing, no emergency stuff either. So we're going to go and we're going to pick up all the stuff we need, create emergency kits and all that. So you can expect videos on that soon as well. And this month, things I wanted to buy but didn't. Uh, well, I wanted to buy the rubber gloves, but I didn't. I used the Ziploc bags. Um, I did want to buy coffees a couple of times, but I didn't. And I made my own coffee and I've been making my own coffee like every day. And I got, um, I just use the Aldi instant stuff at the moment. We do have a coffee machine, but... You know what the instant stuff's cheaper and it's it's quicker so i've actually been lazy and haven't been using the coffee machine at all i think it's like one euro 20 for aldi uh like um it's 100 grams or 200 grams i'm not sure but it's really really cheap it lasts me ages and then i picked up uh syrup and i picked up an aldi and this time i picked up popcorn flavor which i had this morning and it was really nice and then the last thing was a fitness plan. One of my friends, I'll leave a link below on Instagram. She is uh, just starting out as a fitness trainer and she had this wonderful plan. And I wish I could have done it because fitness is one of the things I want to do, but it just wasn't in the budget. I couldn't move the budget around to get it. Like I said, I'm working with a tight budget here and I just couldn't move it around. So hopefully in the future, I can add it in as one of my necessities because it's fitness and health, you know, so it's not a bad thing. And it's not a thing either. There you have it. I feel like I can breathe now. Um, that is everything that I think I needed to tell you. And I definitely think that's too much for one video. So what I'm going to do is you can expect another kind of short reviews throughout the month of all the things that I'm doing um, and that way they can be quick and snappy and uh, really current as well. I don't have to wait another month to tell you about them um, which will actually be good for me too because I have to save all this on my phone so I can just get rid of it then. Um, so yeah please leave me a comment below. Please leave me a comment down below if you um, are on a debt free journey as well or you're saving for something or you have like milestones, you know, are you saving for something big or, you know, because uh, I'd love to hear them down below. If you have any weird things that you did this month um, to save money, even if it was just like two euro gloves, please leave a comment down below because I'd love to hear that too. And um, yeah, if you're not already, then please like and subscribe and you can expect a lot more videos coming your way. Um, in fact, very soon, uh, spoiler alert, I'm going to have a video of no spend Valentine's ideas. So just because it's Valentine's Day and just because you love someone doesn't mean you have to spend the bomb to show them. Anyway, thank you for joining me again today. I hope that I provided you with some, I don't know, information or laughs or help. And um, yeah, uh, it's good to see you again. So I will be back very soon with a lot more stories and things to tell you i guess bye